taking a look at travel trends. Joining us now is Janine Tornator. Janine, what do you have for us today? Well, one of the biggest trends that we're seeing continue to emerge is this idea of experiential travel. People really want to have fantastic and incredible experiences when they're on vacation. One of the newest and best examples of this in the country is actually in Nashville, Tennessee at the Gaylord Opryland Resort. They just launched the first truly upscale indoor outdoor water attraction. It's infused with music, four acres. It's truly incredible and really great example of this type of experience experience and how it's really being tied into resorts. Now the second trend that we're seeing emerge is called skip gen travel, otherwise known as gramping. This is where we're seeing more and more baby boomer grandparents taking their grandkids on vacation while maybe the parents stay at home for a relaxing long weekend or week. Uh, one of the hottest spots for this of course is Orlando. Theme parks are really perfect for this type of multi-generational or skip gen travel. You know one of the keys really here with this trend is especially at the theme parks is staying on property. Places like the Swan and Dolphin Resort are a great example where you have all of the amenities, the on-site transportation, and you can even use business travel points to book that. So that's something to think about as you talk with those families this uh, winter over the holidays. Now the third big trend is wellness travel. Nothing new, but as we head into the holiday season and post New Year's, this is when people really think about those New Year's resolution and wellness travel is obviously one of the bigger ones. And I always say think hotel hotels here because hotels are really what offers the amenities that can kickstart these places like the Ritz Carlton Ball Harbor in Miami where they have personal trainers, wellness assessments and of course spas to die for. So think about the resort when you're planning those wellness trips. I'm hearing there's a travel trick called next leveling. What exactly is that Janine? So this really tips to kind of take your vacation to the next level as you head into the new year. Things to think about. Number one is a week that a lot of people overlook is the first six days in January. This is a slower travel period, so a lot of great availability, especially in major cities, places like Boston, Chicago, Los Angeles. Um, you know, these are places to consider um, where you're gonna get, you know, really great availability and prices on hotels. So think first week of January, and also it's all about the weekends as you head into 2019. So start planning those weekend getaways um, sooner than later. Places where business travelers go home for the weekends, these are where you're going to get some great deals and be able to kind of up level that vacation and stay in really nicer properties, places like Weston's and W's and Ritz Carlton's. What do you see as emerging places to travel this holiday season? Well, we're really seeing a trend of these smaller cities emerging as hotspots, places like Kansas City, Spokane, Washington, where you have uh, revivals happening in their downtown. Um, places like Spokane, Washington, they have great properties. I really love the Davenport Grand. This is a stunning property, one that you might not expect to see in a small destination like this, but these destinations have great shopping districts downtown. You'll find a lot of those smaller mom and pop boutiques. Um, and then outside of the cities, especially in a place like the state of Washington, you have so many great outdoor experiences. So think about the revival of these small cities and that's where you're going to see a lot of the emerging hotspots. Before you take off, I'd love to get some of your really deep insider travel tricks. Well, for a lot of people, they're still looking for where they can get away over the holidays. So we've been talking a lot about festive destinations, places you can go to really get in the holiday spirit. So a few things to keep in mind, of course, num number one is the big cities, New York, Chicago, but even keep on your list places like Philadelphia. They have a lot going on in the heart of the city. You can stay in great properties like the Four Points in the city center. It's all about location when you're going to those big cities. Another one that I love that's overlooked over the holidays is New Orleans. This is really their off season so you can get some really great prices. They also have a lot of great um, specialty holiday menus and cocktails in the great restaurants and establishments in the French Quarter and even places like the Ritz Carlton. They know people are there to celebrate. They even have a champagne vending machine. So take advantage of those types of destinations as we head into this holiday season. Janine, always a pleasure and safe travels to you. Thanks Angie, my pleasure. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.